What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Godzilla Mode. In today's video, I will be showing you guys one of the best defenses in Madden 23. And this blitz and defense will help you guys win a lot more games in Madden 23. And I will be doing a full breakdown of it, alright? So look, before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into the video. So we are in one of my favorite playbooks, defensive playbooks, and Mad 23, which is the Multiple D playbook, all right? Now, the blitz that we're going to focus out of is 3-3 Cub, which is 3-3-5 wide, if you guys didn't know that. But they just switched the name up from last year, 3-3-5 wide, to 3-3 Cub. Now, last year was you go to 3-3-5, go to the all the way down 3-3-5 wide, and you do defense from, from there, all right? And the reason why you do that is because you get safeties in the box, and the safeties are sometimes faster than linebackers is in this game, all right? And just matter, period. So what you guys want to do first is go to substitution. So you want to have your uh, best safeties in the game in the middle. Your the your user is going to be this guy right here in the middle. So Delpit is like my user. But uh, right here, you want to have fast safeties right here. If you don't have fast safeties, then just put high overall safeties. I don't recommend having zone safeties in the middle, like right here on the edge. If, if you're going to be running this defense, don't run zone ability de uh, safeties right here, right? Now, one of the um, the the abilities I do recommend you guys have is deep zone KO. Not deep zone, but deep route KO. Um, uh, short route KO. And you guys want to have either edge threats or you want to have double or nothing, all right? I do I do recommend double or nothing if, no, if you guys don't uh, want to use. Well, I don't recommend edge threat because you're going to be the two guys off the edge right here. These 33 and 37 will be coming off the edge. So you want to have double or nothing on your three guys one of these three guys right here or all three all right now i'm gonna have my three best d linemen in the game so brian miles gary we all know clowny and then i'm gonna have three safeties in the game boom 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 and then up top you either want to have two cornerbacks right here or two high overall safety so i'm going to put two cornerbacks because cornerbacks sometimes check better than um uh safeties free safety or strong safeties in matter 23 they have better man coverage and sometimes they just be better all right but if you do have like a, a higher overall safety that has great stats then leave him in the game all right so i'm going to go ahead and leave john johnson boom and the play is this play right here is mike blitz zero so first we're going to come out and linebacker blitz zero and then audible down to mike blitz zero but let's go to coach adjustments right here and i don't want you guys to get confused right here so you want to have it on off man alignment play ball quarterback matches even on balance unless you have you know a great uh team like a great uh team with good cornerbacks like fast cornerbacks you have by speed if you want to but i just leave it on balance all option defense if you play against lamar jackson russell wilson josh allen or what's the other guy with for the cardinals i forgot kyler murray you want to have it on because it's conservative if not have it on aggressive or have it on balance i'd rather have it on aggressive and everything else even exactly like it is so let's go ahead and come out on that come out and just play seahawks switch and it was, so what you guys want to do is press x on your controller or square on playstation go over to the right and press mic blitz zero right here and the guy you're going to be using this guy right here so go ahead and press press rb guest pass and then you want to bring this guy down like this bring this guy down right here and then press left hand d-pad slide inside pinch your linebackers and then pinch your uh your d-lineman like this and leave your user right here so watch this wait for it wait for it boom watch the habit watch the middle nothing's open and the blitz comes in really really fast and like i said this and spinner blitz is one of the best blitzes in man 23 you guys do see henry running it henry is one of the top belt winners right now in man 23 and he's been winning so far and like i said this is just one of the best blitzes in the game so uh, another way you guys can run it if you want to do shading purposes press x go over go back to uh, mike blitz zero go ahead and press now sometimes you don't have to bring the guys down if you don't want to if you in uh, if you don't have time to bring the guys down then this perfectly fine what you guys want to do is press y inside y over top and then just uh go ahead pinch everybody like that slant it inside and make sure your user i uh, guess pass and make sure your user is right here all right make sure they're right here boom that's perfect watch the halfback and okay now he did get that pass off that that pass did get off but it was a guy right there waiting for him now the reason that that pass did get off because like you know say he did get it off because the blitz did not come in as fast right there now as you guys can see the reason why the blitz did not come in as fast is because my user kind of messed up right there usually you you're supposed to have your user usually you're supposed to have your user engaged with a blocker and then what that does is it helps this guy off the edge come on freely and easy so i'm going to do, do that one more time go ahead and press while inside over top pinch boom slide inside and then 
guest pass. Now watch this when I put my user right here on a blocker. Watch this. Watch it. He's engaged. Blitz comes in fast. And he did get the pass off, but it was incomplete. So like I said, this is one of the best blitzes in Mad 23. Now another thing you guys can do, right? I'm gonna show you guys another one. Mike Blitz Zebra, go ahead and press. Uh, don't pinch. Don't pinch this time. I mean, pinch your linebackers, but spread your D line like this, right? Go ahead and guess pass. Now, say inside shaded over top. Now, watch this. Watch it this time. This time it's going to come in a little bit faster. And the reason why, reason why is because the both safeties are on the outside now. And basically, what that is that both um, it's going to help. The blockers are going to need. They're going to basically going to have to be good blockers. Low overall blockers. Our tackles are not going to be able to pick up this blitz as easy as a high, maybe a 90 plus overall tackle, but which I don't think there is any in the game. Now, another way you guys can do this is go ahead and spread uh, all your linebackers and safety, and I said these linebackers and D linemen, and do hit, go ahead and do contain. So basically, what this does is if they block their halfback, they still won't be able to um, block the blitz. So watch this right here. A wide inside over top, and then boom, gets past. So watch, watch this right here. Watch this right here. Watch this. Okay, now you guys can see the blitz did come in, but it didn't come in as fast. The reason why, and I'm going to tell you why the blitz did not come in as fast. Because one, they did patch, uh, what is it called? Was it looping? Yeah, looping. And number two, and the reason why is because you're containing. When you contain, basically, it stops your um, your blitzers from coming in, like I said, as fast. Because they're basically, they're just trying to get contain the QB. And you do not want that, all right? You don't want that. Now, the reason this blitz did come in, because I am sending six. And somebody's going to give up. Somebody's uh, blitz is going, to, is going to come in somewhere, somehow. Now, another way you guys can do this, go ahead and press. And then you can go ahead and spread. Boom, like this. Slant inside and blitz this guy right here. And use this guy right here. So, basically, you're just not... Nobody's checking the halfback. I'm going to put him on the side of the halfback like this. Slant inside. Watch this. Why right over, right inside, right over top. Guess pass. Stop, Johnson. Oh, yeah. Boom, right there. Now, watch this. Watch this blitz. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Boom, watch it, watch the halfback. Okay, he did end up getting the ball off, but it's a loss of yards. This is, like I said, this is one of the best blitzes in Madden 23. It's, good. it's going to help you guys get stops. It is. Like, people that get under pressure, especially with quarterbacks without abilities and play now, or just people with fearless too, even with fearless, this blitz is going to come in, and it's going to make people throw under pressure and accurate interceptions, throw out a sack interceptions, which they did not patch. We're waiting for that patch, which I don't think is coming no time soon. And like I said, this is one of the best in the game. Now, another way you guys can do is go ahead and go back to it is don't press at all because sometimes if you do press against a good wide receiver uh, with a bad DB, he might get a uh, good, uh, what is it called, runoff, and he might be able to get an easy touchdown. So what you guys go ahead and do is go ahead and spread uh, your D-line, so spread your linebackers, slant um, outside this time, and then uh, blitz your user, and then do guest pass, Y inside, way over top, stop, and then make sure you use it. Now, when, you, when you're right here, hold the left trigger on PlayStation or um, Xbox, and basically what that does, it will help you get engaged with a blocker once... Um, once he's like snapped the ball, then let go of it. Okay, now right there, as you guys can see, when I did not press, the slant did get open. Now, basically, that will happen. Now, you guys can stop that if you if you want to, but one thing you will be giving up is the halfback. Now, when you do do when you do send the heat like this, 90% of the time you're not looking to uh what is it called? You're not looking to give up. Uh, maybe it's like 30, 20, maybe 30, 25. Uh, second and 20 you're just trying to get the QB uh, under pressure and you're just trying to make them only gain two yards and get some stops that's why I recommend running this defense like this if it's a long like maybe like second and 20 second and 25 but if it's like first and 10 I don't recommend running this defense like this I do not and if you and if you don't want to give up that play just go ahead and use with this guy in the middle so go ahead and make blitz zero spread spread gets passed up like that Y inside and don't do Y over top this time um, sign in, uh, sign inside right there. Now watch this right here. Watch this right here. Make sure you gauge with the block here. Boom. Watch the middle. Watch the middle. He can't throw the drag, and the pressure comes in. Loss of yards. So I'm just showing you guys different ways to run it. And if your opponent is playing a certain way, this is how you guys should play it. Now, if your opponent is throwing, let's call time out real quick. If your opponent is throwing corner routes, I'm going to show you guys how to stop this. Let's go to linebacker blitz zero. Where's the play with corner routes? Right here, Seahawks strike. So they have two corner routes on both sides. So what you guys wanna do, this is to get spread. Mike Blitz zero, go ahead and press. Spread every spread. Oh, my fault, that's my fault, my fault. So make sure you spread all linebackers and spread uh, uh, D linemen. And what you guys wanna do is go Y outside 
and why no no what don't do overtime just do why outside and what you guys want to do is sometimes you can put this guy in a zone like this and you can use it a guy shaking a halfback or you guys can do um blitz this guy and blitz this guy right here and the reason why you do that is because if your opponent is blocking the halfback uh, you wouldn't have to usually worry about the habit going around and right there that he comes in and he throws a back foot And that sometimes could be an interception with acrobat or things of that nature So that's one way you guys can stop if they are running corner rocks Just run Y outside if your opponent loves running corner rocks Just do Y outside and let's go ahead go to two, uh, back to that defense right there, right? And one way you guys can stop it is go ahead and put this guy to check in the habit Go ahead and press put this guy on a curl flat like this and then do uh, uh, right bumper, guest pass, Y inside, Y over top. And the reason why I do Y inside over top is because I, that's just one of the safest band coverage defenses in Madden 23. And it will help you get stops, but if they are destroying it, then you can do other shades. These are that nature. Now right here, as you guys can see, it is box. And the reason why it was boxed, I'm gonna tell you guys why. The reason why the pressure didn't come in as uh, easy before is because I did only sent the five and I didn't um, send six, which my user was not really engaged with a blocker. So then the uh, person did not come in as easily. And as you guys can see, uh, that Miles Garrett did come in easy right there, boom. And then this guy did get stuck right here because I don't think I did slant inside. But right here, this is perfect coverage on this side. So all I had to do is watch the middle and the outside over here. You guys should be good. That's perfect defense. Now I'm going to show you guys one more thing how to stop the run and you guys should be good in Mad 23. So let's go ahead and come out in this linebacker for zero. Let's come out against a normal run inside zone split. So if your opponent is running, running the ball out of uh, shotgun formation, go ahead and go to Mike Blitz zero. Go ahead and press. And what all you guys simply want to do is press left on your D-pad, slant right. So wherever side the halfback is on, if he's on the left side, make sure you do slant right. If he's on the right side, do slant left. Go ahead and spray. All, no, I mean, I mean says sometimes you don't know if your opponent is going to run the ball or not run the ball so you can either spread your linebackers and d lineman if you don't want to you don't have to so i'm not i'm, I'm just, I'm just going to do it just assuming that he's going to pass the ball right here. so assuming this so that's just assume it's third down and one and you assuming that he's going to run a ball i mean third down and i don't know seven and you assume he's going to pass the ball so right here i'm going to do that i'm going to, I'm going to be in passing defense but this defense will stop the run right here as you guys can see i don't know where was he trying to go miles garrett came off the edge right there and the reason why is because all the D linemen and linebackers will be sh not shading that way, but they will be running that way. So this guy off the edge will be trying to come off, come straight to the right side, and everybody else will be shade. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say shading that way, and it will stop the run. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.